Good evening, everybody. Is this on? Um, I'm Doug C. Um, before we begin this absurd creation, um, we need to say that this play is about an unjust prosecution of a very undeserving defendant. So, so we need to acknowledge that Jay and Melissa in particular and all the persons of color that they work with, for them, an unjust criminal justice system is not a laughing matter. On the other hand, I think we could all use a good laugh about now, especially Jay. So it is in that spirit that we offer this tribute to a man we love. Attend a tale in you, you world. A Charlotte scandal is unfurled. Arrested minister now begins the trial of the century. How will it end? In, in Charlotte, Charlotte, in you, you world. The trial of Minister J. Leach. the Honorable Bewildered Belinda Perry presiding. <laughs> Before we begin, has everyone silenced their phones? If you have not, the penalty will be life after death. <laughs> Has everyone silenced their phones? Everyone? <laughs> Hell's bells! What is that noise? Bailiff? 
It's the defendant who obviously has no respect for this sacred space. I should have known. Now, where was I? Ushers, don't let any latecomers in unless the defendant is speaking. <laughs> I see the jury has been seated. Now, who's here for the prosecution? Oh, sorry I'm late. I was busy tampering with the jury. I'm special counsel Robert Mahler, advocate of alternative facts, appointed by the UUA to carry out this witch hunt, I mean prosecution. First, I want to be clear. There's been no collusion, no collusion. I've never even met you, Your Honor, not even during our trip to Russia together. The fact that we're both reading from scripts, it's just coincidence. By the way, Your Honor, did you get that deposit in your bank account? Yes, I mean, no, of course not. Oh, okay. So let's get started. Where's the defense counsel? Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, outside chasing ambulances. Hold on. All right, Pete, more or less here. Who, who am I defending? Him? Oh, Lord. I mean, oh, mystery. <laughs> Your Honor, Your Honor, this case is hopeless. My client pleads guilty and throws himself on the merciless court. You haven't even heard the charges yet. Ah, well, whatever it is, I'm sure he did it. <laughs> well, you lose all your cases anyway. That's why we chose you. Now sit down. Bailiff, read the charges. Reverend Leach, you face multiple charges. The first is aggravated rebel rising. Re rebel. <laughs> rebel rousing. Well, that one's true for sure. He turned my wife into a radical and got her arrested. Home wrecker. The next charge is being a control enthusiast. I can't argue with that one either. Next, we have multiple counts of sermonizing. <laughs> there is nothing worse than you, you, fire and brimstone. <laughs> and repeated wage and hour violations by working overtime. You are also charged with over-analytical semantics. 
to quote Bill Clinton, it depends on what the meaning of is is. <laughs> Next, Reverend Leach, we have multiple counts of accosting church members to be lay leaders. I had to get an unlisted email. The next charge is questioning authority, even that of our beloved president and the North Carolina General Assembly. No. That free speech is going to cost you. Also, doubting the truth of fake news. He even watches CNN. The next charge is standing on the side of love. He has no standing to be standing. You are also charged with interfering with the summary deportation of young children's parents by operating a sanctuary. Send him back to California and build the wall. And next, Reverend Leach, a capital offense. The willful premeditated killing of Joyce and himself. <laughs> Especially Joyce. <laughs> and finally, the most serious charge of all, Reverend Leach, you are charged with being white, male, and straight. And, and don't try to tell us you were born that way. Mr. Mahler, call your first witness. Not that you need any. I call Lisa Lackey, Jennifer McLeod, Emerson Leach, and Mark Bellantini to the stand. Objection. Objection, Your Honor. He can't call four witnesses at once. Your Honor, so many people want to testify against the defendant. We don't have time to hear them one at a time. Overruled. I have to get home to watch Judge Judy. Do all of you witnesses agree to tell the truth as you imagine or wish it to be? Just like our president? All right, then. Isn't it true that all of you were approached by the defendant to be a lay service leader? He came to me begging on his hands and knees. It was embarrassing. He pretended like I was the first one he'd asked, even though it was Saturday night. <laughs> me a discount on my pledge to just 4% of my income. Your Honor, I request permission to reenact these events for the jury by repeating the defendant's conversations with these witnesses. Please proceed. <clears throat> Dear Lisa, dear Lisa, would you assist me? I need a lay leader this very Sunday. The topic is how to let go and find peace. But if you refuse, I will call the police. Sign, dear Jay Leach. Dear Jay Leach, dear Jay Leach, thanks for the ask. I really don't think that I'm up to the task. My big toe is hurting and so is my head. I think I'll just stay home and worship in bed. Signed, unwilling. <laughs> Dear Jenny, dear Jenny, would you assist me? I need a lay leader and a new mustache so very badly. 
The topic is giving at least 5%. I know you're below that, so pay or consent. <laughs> Sign, dear Jay Leach. Dear Jay Leach, dear John. No, no. Dear Jay Leach, I'm aware of how hard it must be to find a lay leader every damn Sunday. But my hamster's sickly, I must babysit. Yeah, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> Signed, pet lover. Dear Mark Valentini, my colleague and friend, I'm desperate, fearful, my job may well end. I need a lay leader tomorrow by nine. I'm groveling, begging, please say you'll be mine. Sign, dear Jay Leach. Dear Jay Leach, remember, I live in Ohio. <laughs> Impossible. I couldn't get there tomorrow. Besides, I'm your mentor. No lay leader. I'm not going to do it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Offended. <laughs> Not yet. Dear Emerson, wonderful offspring of mine, would you be lay leader? You'd be oh so fine. You best not say no or show me disavowance, because if you refuse, I will cut your allowance. Signed, dear daddy. Dear Daddy, dear Daddy, you know I love you. I'll do what you want so long as I want to. So take your request and place it on the shelf. You'll just have to minister all by yourself. are excused. Wait, what about my cross-examination? We don't allow crosses in this church. <laughs> Mr. Mahler, call your next witness. My next witness is in the UU Witless Protection Program. <laughs> she will appear in disguise to protect her identity. Objection on what grounds? She works for Jay. Oh, in that case, no objection. <laughs> it's okay, come on down. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I think that picture is worth a thousand words, especially the defendant's words. I now call to the stand Belinda Perry. Objection. The judge can't testify. That's another problem with Jay. He won't let us testify when the spirit moves us. <laughs> Tell it, sister. Why, he murdered in cold blood sweet, innocent joys and concerns, even the ones about hangnails that went on for 20 minutes. <laughs> Objection! The one about hangnails was 15 minutes tops. Overruled. You're thinking about the one about bunions. <laughs> now, what were you going to ask me? Isn't it true that the defendant's sermons are 
erudite. Absolutely, whatever that means. And, and don't you find his language downright poetic? I guess so, but it doesn't usually rhyme. <laughs> Objection, leading the witness. Sustained, there will be no dancing in my courtroom. <laughs> well then just tell the defendant in your own words, I mean the jury in your own words, just how confusing the defendant's sermons are. Wait a minute, is this a trial or a circus? Because there's an elephant in the room. And, and some clowns, too. <laughs> Go ahead. What is... Execution rests. Does the defense give up yet? Of course not. I would never shrink from my responsibilities. And speaking of shrinks, I call to the stand the renowned psychiatrist, Dr. Sigismund Fraud. <laughs> because my client is changing his plea to guilty by reason of insanity. That's crazy. But who am I to judge? You may proceed. Ah, Dr. Fraud, you've performed a psychiatric evaluation of the defendant, yes? Yes. If by yes you mean no. Objection! Witness is unqualified. Oh, come on. You don't need a Rorschach test to see that this guy's chalice is not fully lit. <laughs> I mean, look at him. And, uh, Dr. Fraud, how exactly would you describe his condition? Actually, I'm afraid it's quite serious. He's got... Super abstract multisyllabolical neurosis. Synergistic dialectic dual symbiosis. Hypertechnical... Medical proposal. Over analytical semantical psychosis. Because Jay was afraid to speak when he was young and shy. He practiced his oration and found he could speechify. He wanted to expound, philosophize, and use big words. So he became the minister <laughs> to a bunch of you, you nerds! Analyzing diatribes, we need a diagnosis. Ernest, unremitting. 
admitting conscientious and ferocious. So impassioned he must have arteriosclerosis. Terminal pontificating, not a good prognosis. Jay's white privilege burdens him so much it sometimes hurts. Won't eat cake or ice cream, cause they're unjust desserts. <laughs> and in the age of Trump, you wonder how long he can last. Then you realize we better fight with him and fast. Huh. Transformation's difficult with you use riches crosis. Jay worked so hard that he came down with mononucleosis. His breath is in you so much he must have halitosis. He needs a vacation or prescribe some stronger doses. disregard that testimony. I told you no dancing is allowed in my courtroom. Now it's time for the jury, all of you, to determine exactly how guilty the defendant is. <laughs> Bailiff, please bring out the guiltometer. As Unitarian Universalists, we have many sources of truth, some of which are kind of BS. <laughs> Tonight, you are going to help determine the guilt. Here is our guilt meter Is Reverend Leach guilty as charged? Guilty as because we're UUs, it's not you unanimous. <laughs> now, I be before I pronounce the sentence, Mr. Moore or Less, can you give me a reason to lessen the punishment here? My client is guilty, but his heart was in the right place. A fervent minister, impassioned minister, we know you speak from your heart. You are Socratical, often fanatical. 
Yet you're our favorite since Descartes. Are your sermons more than brief? <laughs> Do in the end is their relief? Does it sound like you're the chief and we're the braves? So don't change a word for us. Though sometimes your words are Greek <laughs> and then your sermon's bleak. Oh, but when you find the need to speak, you're so smart. So don't change a word for us, though you're a nerd to us. Stay funny, minister, stay. At least until next Sunday. Mr. Mahler, you don't need to say anything or sing anything for that matter. I'm ready to pronounce sentence. The defendant will rise. <laughs> I feel like I've seen a ghost. The defendant will rise. Please rise. Stand up. First, the church will have Christmas music and decorations year round. Second, you will only be allowed to eat ice cream and cake, your just desserts. <laughs> Third, dogs will not only be allowed, but encouraged to attend services. <laughs> this place has gone to the dogs anyway. Fourth, we will have new age services every other week. <laughs> And lastly, Doug C. will be writing a review of your sermon in every issue of Currents. <laughs> Court is... Wait. <laughs> Who are you? The ghost of Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> Objection! Only live witnesses and mustaches are allowed. Overruled. Can you get my grandmother on the line? I've got a couple things I need to ask her. Your Honor, the prosecution has been very thorough in its case. <laughs> and you appear to have Reverend Leach walled in. Get it? Thorough, walled in, just a little more punishment. <laughs> Where was I? I have been observing my pupil carefully for the last several years, and I agree he should be found guilty. Guilty of being a wonderful minister? Guilty of giving tirelessly of yourself to your church and your denomination. Guilty of leading this church from a time of struggling, divided chaos to what it is today and what it is now, a, oh, a, a powerful source of healing and hope. Guilty of caring, <laughs> guilty of caring deeply about suffering and injustice. Guilty of loving this congregation with all of your heart. And your sentence, if all of us are very fortunate, is 15 more years of the same. <laughs> Thank you.
show's not over yet. Sit down. Searching for the Trinity, called God on the phone. Got a empty tone and felt so alone. But as he's getting ready to cry, a light bulb forms above. Star King, he went Berkeley for his liberal bent. Vegans everywhere <laughs> met Melissa there, and Jay fell in law. Uh, uh, uh. Lived in sin with her. <laughs> Shocking, both were ministers. Time to relocate. <laughs> Homesick for upstate, and then came Asia. Uh, uh, uh. A southern church was perfect for Jay. Just one thing left to do. Clang, clang, matrimonial in a flash. They were well defend and respectable. So to Charlotte they stand. Thus, Jay's become so dear to us, minister sublime. Guilty of a crime or two, but so. Fights authority with moral certainty.
So because I didn't get a choice in the matter and, and the service tomorrow is completely and entirely out of my control. I'd like to take about um, 20 minutes or so and share with you what I would have said had I been given the opportunity tomorrow instead of having it rested cruelly from my hands. So some of you recognize that as a stall technique for someone who is almost never without words. <laughs> I am without words other than thank you so very much. Thank you.